Oh yes, we are live. Welcome back everybody to another morning stream here at the Den of Nerds Live. Holy crap, look at that chat catching up. That's a little much. Uh, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got some fun stuff to talk about today. Wakanda Forever, a brand new report out there by Lizzie Hill. And we're going to get in there, we're going to read their report and talk about what that means with regards to Iron Heart, but also... You know, Armor Wars itself, there have been some very interesting things said about Armor Wars, and I thought this would be a cool opportunity to sort of begin by talking about the new report when it comes to Wakanda Forever, talking a little bit about the report yesterday and the, the sort of King uh, Killmonger thing that we got from What If. You saw uh, Al and Elisa talk about that on the evening stream last night. So there's a lot to get into with regards to Wakanda Forever and just sort of the future uh, for Phase 4, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to get into all of that. Hope everybody's having a good morning, by the way. I do want to remind everybody, two streams a day at minimum moving forward here on the live streaming channel. So make sure you're checking out. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have those notifications enabled because you're going to have at least two streams a day moving forward from now on. So make sure you are doing all that. Let's get into here. Let's check this out. By the way, I have this dope uh, Loki theme music playing in the background. I'm probably going to turn it off, though, because it's a little too epic. It's distracting from my ability to stream. But uh, Samuel Kim, dude, Samuel Kim doing the sweet theme music for Loki remix as he usually does. Pretty dope stuff. Go check it out. Go check it out if you have not. But for now, we're going to stop it. Let's uh, let's talk about this new article here, report by Lizzie Hill. By the way, Lizzie Hill uh, just starting kind of on her own over here at uh, the Cosmic Circus. We recommend everybody check that out. She's a good reporter. She was at uh, Murphy's Multiverse. She's definitely got good sources. A lot of uh, good scoopers out there are corroborating her stuff. Um, so that's pretty neat. Check that stuff out. And here we go. We'll read into a little bit of this article here. Um, and then uh, we'll speculate about it. And again, we'll talk about some other things that are going on as well. Okay. <clears throat> so this is an exclusive. And it says Black Panther Wakanda Forever making plans to film at MIT. Wakanda Forever has only very recently kicked off filming in Georgia. However, I'm now hearing about a location much closer to me in my home state of Massachusetts that the sequel will film this summer as well. I think you may be very interested in the possible reasons why they're using this particular location too. No, I'm not talking about Worcester or uh, Wussa, as they say around these parts. I can exclusively report uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be filming in areas around and quite possibly at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge. This is MIT, of course. I cannot currently confirm the dates of filming or if they will actually be filming on campus grounds as of yet. It is unusual for MIT to allow production companies to film on the campus itself. However, I have learned that an exception is being considered in this case. I also know that there are plans to film exteriors around and near MIT, which may be all they require to get the distinct features of the acclaimed university on shot for film. Questions you might ask are, what are they doing there? Why is this interesting? Well, it's interesting for a few reasons, mainly because of a certain Marvel character that attends MIT, and this includes Tony Stark as well, very notably the first Black Panther film's antagonist, Eric Killmonger. Okay, so Killmonger went to MIT. Interesting. You may be wondering if this could be some sort of flashback sequence involving a younger Eric attending university. While possible, Michael B. Jordan has yet to be officially confirmed to return. I also have very strong doubts about the the or that theory due to the fact that I can't think of how something like that would fit into the rest of the film with Kill Killmonger being so very dead and all. But I have other theories. Now, I will strongly caution you that I cannot currently confirm any suspicions I have about why they are going to be there. But I but think about this, dear readers. You know how there's an Ironheart series to film next year on Disney+. Plus, The one with the young genius MIT student named Riri Williams? Yes, that's the one. Could a filming trip to MIT mean that Riri is in the movie? 
I'd say there's a very strong possibility, as we already know, both Kamala Khan and America Chavez will be appearing in the MCU films in their not-so-distant future. Considering Riri will be heading her own show as well, it's certainly very possible that she will be introduced to the MCU in this way as well. So that's kind of the thoughts uh, from Lizzie and a report that they will be filming at uh, MIT or hoping to film at MIT, and they'll be filming um, in the surrounding area as well. Now... If I may take this into a speculative realm, one of the things that I think is really interesting about Wakanda Forever is the sort of vibe, I guess, that I'm getting about the film that makes me think it will be massively important to the entire fabric of the MCU moving forward in a way that, like, the second Captain America movie was, you know? The Winter Soldier sets up a ton of different things and really is super different than what you get in the first Captain America movie. And then the third Captain America movie, Civil War, well, Civil War is pretty much like Avengers 2.5, right? It, it's, it's, it's a crazy bananas, everybody and their mom is in the movie, all of these things all around the world, set pieces all over, massive impact. From what we've heard from Wakanda Forever, they're going to be filming internationally. The Namor stuff seems very, very real. There are long-standing rumors that Doctor Doom would be involved. That, of course, Wakanda would play a huge role moving forward. Now, I wanted to, to sort of differentiate between things that have happened in the comics for over the long history of Marvel Comics and things that have happened in the MCU. One of the key differences now in the MCU is that Wakanda has stepped out into the world. They have a huge role to play for the entire world, right? Up until that moment in the first Black Panther movie, Wakanda in the comics was mostly just a very Zionistic nation. They, they really kept themselves... They would not really reveal themselves to the world. They didn't really interfere much. In fact, it was a thing like if Black Panther was out doing stuff away from Wakanda, some serious business was going on. Something really serious was happening. You know what I mean? That was always the way that it was. So throughout all of these different big events in Marvel Comics, right? Like you think about Secret Invasion... You know, you think about, I mean, Avengers vs. X-Men, Wakanda does play a pretty good role in But, like, you think about even the first Kree scroll War, Planet Hulk, you know, World War Hulk, the uh, Civil War. All of these things, Wakanda doesn't necessarily play this massive, massive role. Because, again, in comics, they, they really kept themselves. They were not on the world stage like that, right? But in the MCU, Wakanda is now a major part of, I think, the entire fabric of what happens moving forward. I mean, Wakanda serves as a stronghold for Earth against Thanos, which is so cool and very reminiscent of some stuff that happens in the Hickman Avengers and, you know, Infinity and, and some of that fun stuff, right? So the, the modern utilization of Wakanda in that way has been more relevant. But I'm just saying, moving forward, you can imagine Wakanda is going to play a massive role. It's a very important aspect of the canon moving forward. So Wakanda forever, to me, if you start to really think about it, and you start to think like, okay, Victor Von Doom rumors, Right, still, still out there. Long-standing Victor Von Doom rumors. Victor Von Doom, Doom War. If you've never read Doom War, he has these machinations. There's all these little proxy wars that that pop up. Wakanda is involved. There are long-standing rumors that that's going to be in the film. Namor at this point isn't even a rumor, dude. Like Namor, we even know who the actor is. It's the Narcos guy, and uh, he's playing Namor. And Namor is going to be a big deal in the movie. There's a lot of evidence to show that. So in a film that possibly involves Doctor Doom, involves Namor, is international, and then also might involve Riri Williams, I think you start to get a better idea of how Riri Williams could fit into the canon of this whole thing 
especially because she's supposed to show up in Armor Wars. Now, let's talk about Armor Wars for a second because I'm bringing this somewhere. I'm taking this somewhere. I'm taking you on a journey here, okay? I'm taking you on a, a nerdy journey, and we'll arrive at Tony Stark. But first, got to shut your mouth. Just shut it. Okay. Bob Chapek said a couple of weeks ago that people wanting Tony Stark back in the MCU will have that itch scratched in Armor Wars. What, Dude, what's Armor Wars about? It's all about the Tony Stark tech. What the villains around the world are now trying to do with the Tony Stark tech. Now that Tony's out of the way, what does the government do with Tony's tech? War machines involved. What's his responsibility with it? How's this all going to play out? Okay? I think that Armor Wars is going to be a big, big show. I think it's going to be a big show. I think it's going to have heavy implications for the MCU moving forward. Because just like Wakanda, Tony Stark's tech, major important thing in the MCU. Huge important thing for Earth moving forward. Who has control of Tony's tech? That's a big freaking deal. In fact, I'm reminded of post-Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars where Doctor Doom and the Iron Doom or what was it? It wasn't something Iron Man. It was where Doom takes over the Iron Man armor. Oh, baby, was that shit sick. Loved it. Invincible Iron Man, maybe? I don't remember. But it was uh, Riri's involved in that story as well because Riri rebuilds or just builds Tony Stark's tech. That's how she gets involved with Tony. And then a Tony Stark version of the AI after Civil War II, unless I'm mistaken, Tony Stark AI is hanging out with Riri. Okay? If Riri Williams in the MCU is to be the person that has the control of the Tony Stark tech beyond what Peter has, because Peter has a lot of it as well, right? Let's be real. He still has the glasses, I think. Right? I think he still has the glasses. I have to catch up on my, my Spider-Man. I'm actually like a little, like, there's MCU stuff that you guys have been bringing up to me that I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, that's obvious. And I realize I'm getting rusty and I got to go through the whole MCU again. So watch party immediately after this. We're just going to watch the whole MCU, 20 whatever movies right after this. <clears throat> but I just think the legacy of Tony will more or less be settled in Armor Wars. And I think that that's where Riri will come into play. And I think that the AI of Tony will sort of vet her and see if she's really worthy of the tech. And ultimately, that, that might be a situation where the Tony Stark AI remains in in the mcu i would actually like that i think that would be cool i wonder how fans would feel about that with like tony sort of being in the mcu but only just being the ai and only just kind of being involved with riri i wonder how everybody would feel about that i'd be cool with it again um but that would be interesting but this could ultimately take us all to a place where you see the tony stark ai and riri having a scene in Wakanda forever, which I think would actually be pretty dope. And if that's something to do with Doom or Doom wanting either Vibranium or Stark Tech or something to that effect, man, that would be flipping fantastic. So I don't know. There's just, again, so much speculation, so much weirdness and craziness going on with this. But the only other thing I'll say on this before I check out the chat and we get into the chat chat and everything like that is that I think a lot of people want RDJ to return proper to the MCU, and I think that would be dope. But especially depending on how Loki ends, I'm starting to get this feeling, man, that we're going to meet another version of Tony Stark. Maybe Tom Cruise, Tony Stark. Please, Tom Cruise, Tony Stark. Save me, Tom Cruise, Tony Stark. I want Tom Cruise, Tony Stark, to be this very dark variant of our Tony, and for him to perhaps be so ridiculous that he poses a major multiversal threat, and that we need our Tony back in some kind of hour of need situation to beat the other Tony. 
because the way things are going right now, it seems like they're just gonna they're gonna go crazy with the MCU, dude. Like, think about it. The Black Panther sequel may well be a Doom Wars slash mutants with Namor and craziness, Fantastic Four, like an international, ridiculous, grand type of a film that's just showing the state of the world while also showing you how Wakanda is dealing with maybe the death of their king, right? Damn. If that's just the sequel to Black Widow, bro. Freaking uh, the Marvels might be a full film dealing with Secret Invasion and, and the fallout for that and also some crazy cosmic things that are going on. Dang. I think we're... Dude, I think that Secret Wars is coming and I think it's going to be way crazier than we even know right now. Like, possibly doing like... Like I said, the Illuminati, but a multiversal Illuminati... That would be bananas, dude. That'd be absolutely bananas. So there, I'll stop the I'll stop the sweaty speculation there. I'll stop the sweaty spec there. And then we'll just get yes to Tom Cruise. Yes, William. Yes, William. And then we'll just go from there. So cool. Let's see what you guys are saying. Let's get into QA. We'll hang out for a little bit. Shorter stream today. Not not too terribly much going on. You will have an evening stream tonight. Lavis and Miss Darren Wood. I'm going to be streaming tonight, talking about all the crazy, nerdy stuff that's going on. And then, indeed, you will be getting After Dark tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. May I just remind you that the live streams over here on the Den of Nerds Live are brought to you by Surfshark VPN. If you don't have a VPN, what are you doing, bro? You're, you're, I'll tell you what you're doing. You're fucking up. You're fucking up big time. Get a VPN. Use code NERD at checkout for 83% off and three months free. Try your Surfshark out. You could fake out the NSA, make them think that you're living on a different country, make you doing over there, doing this thing, doing that. Oh, this is only available in Netflix in that certain country over there. Boom. All of a sudden you're there. Boom. All your devices are all pr protected. Everything's solid. Official as a whistle so that all your crypto's safe. Yeah, that's right. Get Surfshark VPN today. Shut your mouth and get it. Also, the streams are all brought to you by the Nerd Vengers. What are the Nerd Vengers? Only the best group of nerding out people on the internet. Best people I know. Incredible group of humans. And you can join today for as little as $4.99 a month. You get all the dope emojis, access to behind the scenes streams, into our $200 gift card for GameStop drawing every month, and access to exclusive parts of the Discord as well. Get on over to the Nerd Vengers. What? What do you mean you're waiting to be a Nerd Vengers? What are you waiting for what? What are you waiting for? Jeez. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the Q and the A. Let me pull up all the super chats, see what y'all crazy dudes and dudettes be saying. And then we'll get on out of here. I just want to know what's on your minds. What's on your minds? Oh, we got a bunch of people that rejoined yesterday. Dope, dope, dope. Love to see it. And then, and Ray Fate. Welcome to the Nerd Vengers. You are a Nerd Venger now. Welcome in Ryan Briam. I might have missed you yesterday. Welcome to the Nerd Vengers. You are a Nerd Venger now. And then let's get into these super supas. And then we'll hang out in the chat chat and see what y'all are saying. Darth Soul Glow says, Killmonger went to MIT. It's true. He did go to MIT. Lizzie pointed that out in her article as well. And that could be cool. I wonder if there's any connection. Killmonger. Freaking uh, Riri Williams there. I don't know. Maybe a little connection or something. Uh, you never know. Be pretty cool. Either way, you know, I know the whole thing with, like, uh, Ironheart. And honestly, I haven't read a lot of Ironheart. I've read some stuff with her that's good. I've read some stuff with her that I cringed. To the cringe long cringe city but that's just comics man and, and i know marvel's doing all new all different and frankly a lot of those books weren't that great and the there was a weird vibe around marvel at that time but i'm not gonna let that stop me from thinking hey maybe the mc version will be dope i'm more like a wait and see kind of guy and i also think feige i'm gonna give feige the benefit of the doubt you know what i mean if it's trash it's trash but I'm going to choose to believe. By the way, Kang's totally coming. And screw all you people that are mean about it on the internet. Enrique Robles says, Loki Gator is Victor Von Doom confirmed. Dang, bro. 
do an hour long video of that and we'll react to it on the channel. Fintu182 with a five dollar holla says, Saw Black Widow yesterday. Sorry to report, but no Spidey trailer. Great movie or movie great. Florence steals the show. Not enough David H though. After credits. Wow. That's dope. I'm excited. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. We're going to be doing a watch party for Black Widow, actually, tomorrow morning. Actually, Finto, thank you. And I need to make this announcement. I'm going to make this announcement on Twitter. I'll put it on the Discord as well. Nerdvengers, listen up. Listen up, everybody. This is the plan. For tomorrow, we're going to do the watch party. I'm going to start the thing up at like 2.30, 2.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're waiting for that 3 a.m. release on Disney Plus for Black Widow because yes, I'm watching on Disney Plus because I hate movie theaters and I think they stink and the popcorn's overpriced and uh, people are always on their cell phones and the freaking screens and you know everybody smells funny and I just, people it just infuriate me and no, I'm just kidding. I like movie theaters, but I'm I'm watching this one from home. Um, so if you want to join us for the watch party and you you're going to be getting your own uh, Black Widow, your own thirty dollar digital Black Widow. That you can't really hold or do anything with, and that'll be free in October for everybody else. <clears throat> if you want to get that, if you're getting that Black Widow like I am, uh, come on by and do the watch party with us. There will be no morning stream tomorrow. No morning stream. And instead, I will be streaming at noon, because I'll probably be up. I'll be streaming at noon for a full spoiler Black Widow stream. So if you're seeing Black Widow sometime tonight, if you're seeing it sometime uh, Friday before noon when I go, I don't know how you would do that, but cool. Uh, we'll be doing that stream. And, and if you see it later and then you want to check out the spoiler thoughts, the spoiler stream, you can always watch that stream on replay. Uh, it should be really, really fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for Black Widow, man. I'm excited. It's going to be cool to watch. We're going to watch it behind the scenes with all of you, uh, uh, just with the Nerd Avengers. And then we'll do that stream tomorrow at noon. Woo. Thank you, Finto. T Love, aka the Silver Lurker, says unpopular opinion. Tom Cruise is kind of cool, I guess. Or maybe he kind of sucks. I just imagine him running in every scene for no reason. Face palm. I said I think you said you said unpopular opinion, and then you gave both sides of it, though. You sort of did what I did, man. Are you fence sitting? Did you take my crash course on fence sitting? <clears throat> Machine Gun Kata with the two Dullahalla says, Namor equal first mutant in comics, first in the MCU. Could be. I mean, unless we find out that Wanda was a mutant the whole time, right? I think that's very possible as well. But, uh, yeah, I like that. I don't I don't hate that, Machine Gun Kata. That'd be fun. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Long week of Nerd Vengeance. Renee says with a five dollar holla, what do you think of the rumor about Marvel saying they're doing multi movie deal? They're not doing multi movie deals. P.S. Don't tell my wife about this. Take my money. Hmm. I've not heard this rumor, Renee. I'll have to look into it. I will say though, on a totally unrelated note, that Comic Con stuff's pretty sad. Marvel and DC are both like, we don't need Comic Con. That might really hurt Comic Con, dude. Comic Con might be done skis. Interesting times. Interesting times. Oh, by the way, I definitely won't tell your wife about it. And I appreciate the support, Renee. I'll have to look into those rumors, bro. I don't know what to make of that. James Yu with the five dollar hello says, watched Loki this AM and in my mind the only way to close it or out the series is if variant Loki is he who remains or Immortus. Yeah, that would be crazy. I think that's kind of what people are saying is that it's either a Loki variant like King Loki or a Morris. Uh, he who remains, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm I'm still holding strong for Kang. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, I can't wait till it's not Kang. Ah, I'm going to be such a dick face on the internet. Bitch, please. You're a dick face every day. You think I'm not ready? You think I, you think I haven't been doing enough YouTube in the know? Even my own community just mercilessly makes fun of me and, and comes at me all the time for all the things. I can't play a, a freaking video game on stream without be getting ridiculed by people that supposedly like me. 
You think I'm going to be mad if uh, you think I'm going to be affected by it? No, I actually, if there's no Kang, I'll probably get really upset, depressed. I'll probably shit on the MCU for a couple more months. I'll make it, all the content really, really awkward. Everyone will be like, man, I used to have fun over here until Josh got boner 2.0 again, double time, back fist. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> thanks, James. Forehead face with a five dollar hollow says, "Would love to see Killmonger brought back to find redemption and claim the throne as the new Black Panther. That would be a fantastic character arc. I would like that as well. A lot of people seem to be against that. It seems to be contentious online to say that, but uh, yeah, I do think that would be cool. I do think that would be fun for sure. Um, I don't know, man. I when it comes to when it comes to the Black Panther and who's taking over that, I mean, we've speculated to the cows come home. I think a multiversal Eric Killmonger would be dope. Maybe even King Killmonger from the What If show. That would just be so nuts. But maybe Kill King Killmonger comes in and gets Shuri ready or something. I don't know, man. There's a, a lot of different ways that they could take it. It would be fun. Mike House with a $5 holo says, Rhodey will meet Riri while tracking Tony's tech and will enlist her in trying to recover his legacy the power broker will be behind exploiting tech oh i like that could very well be the case that would make a lot of sense that would make a lot of sense i like that thank you mike appreciate the support and uh i'm actually thinking riri could be dope man the actress they picked i don't know much about her but she looks the part she looks fierce uh i'm excited i think it'd be cool <laughs> Jack says with a two dollar holla. Grace Randolph said DD in She Hulk show. Thoughts? Yeah, that's been a long standing rumor. I thought that, uh, yeah, Matt Murdock will be in She Hulk as well. I don't know if he'll be in as freaking uh, Daredevil, though. I thought maybe he would just be in there as the lawyer. Uh, by the way, Matt Murdock being the lawyer, more or less, or in Spider Man Far From Home very much corroborated by a new leak and i saw paul from heavy spoilers was tweeting about this that they filmed multiple endings for spider-man no way home that seems to legitimately be the case somebody dies but they filmed multiple endings where different people die so who knows who actually died somebody's gonna die so that's pretty interesting and um he's gonna be the lawyer in that so why not lawyer versus lawyer man that's what i would do why not? Be fun. A big Stevie W with a five dollar holla says, "Been saying this since fandom. SDCC is done as the big event con. Now that the major players all have their own thing, fandom will be in person soon, dude. Fandom in person and digital like that would be pretty sick, bro. And that merging of the digital experience and the that kind of media with tangible, I guess, tactile in person media. Oh man." What an idea. That would be pretty fun, yeah? So, I think it could be right, man. That's a shame, though. Comic-Con is such a such a cool part of the history of this comic book thing and just the multimedia thing in general. So, that's it's, it's a weird passing of the torch, in my opinion, but you might, you might be right. Amber, with a very generous $10 holla, says, Really enjoying being an MCU nerd again. Loki has been awesome, and even if there's no Kang, I'm really pleased with the direction the MCU is going. Kang would be crazy awesome, though. Yeah, Amber, I actually feel much the same. Like, this show's so dang cool that uh, even if we don't get Kang, I'm not going to be that upset, frankly. Like, it's it. the show's done so much. It's just really... It's really living... Uh, like, it's flying on the wings of its own ambition. Like, not everything in the show is clicking for me perfectly, but it's so damn ambitious that I can't even get mad at the show. It's like a very different vibe than uh, particularly Falcon the Winter Soldier, which I felt played it so safe in certain ways. I was like, man, like, come on, man. Like, just do the thing and have fun and go bananas. And it just didn't want to do that. And uh, say what you will about some of the things not hitting, you know, and maybe Sylvie Loki not being the best, you know, couple or whatever. But like, dude, it, it's going for it and it's going ham, son. Like the show's going ham. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Amber, and I appreciate the support. Also, my nose is so itchy right now. And I think a fuzzy from the freaking mic, like, flew up into my nostrils or something. So I'm going to run my nose under a faucet when we get out of here. I hope I don't drown. Max Roth says with a $5 holla, Wait, what if they pull a clue and release multiple endings for No Way Home across theaters? Dude! You know what I'm saying, Max? 
Get outside of that. That would be too crazy, man. That would be... That would be pretty wild, bro. I don't know. I don't know about all that. But if it happens, I'm going to think of you, Max. But not enough to credit you in the videos. I'll say it was me. Sorry. Matthew K says, Killmonger with a Zuku-type arc is perfect. Yes. Yes, I agree. Childhood trauma creates pain. Aggression realizes there's a better way to find his own way to the light. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. From Avatar, of course. That would be pretty sick. By the way, like, it seems like everybody is pronouncing Ioloth uh, incorrectly, including the Loki show, including every comic book YouTuber, Marvel YouTuber out there. I know Eliath seems uh, like it's the way to do it. Uh, from the million comments I got on yesterday's video where everybody was ruthlessly, mercilessly, dare I say, persecuting me for pronouncing Alioth correctly. Well, you know, and I know the show set you guys up to fail by saying it incorrectly. Um, yeah, Eliath, Eliath, yeah, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. A couple more came in. Gene Joseph said, is Justin Hammer coming back? He was mentioned in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I actually do think, Gene, that uh, Justin Hammer is coming back. I think Justin Hammer is on the menu. And, I mean, if you look at all the people they're bringing back from the original Incredible Hulk, Feige knows what he's doing. He's definitely going to bring a lot of those kind of people back. So, pretty cool. Pretty exciting stuff. Big Stevie says, is it possible to request a blue... Nerdvenger shirt with a yellow N and a red outer circle like Superman. Ooh, I like that, actually. Maybe I'll mess around and see if I can come up with something for that. Liar Lith, says Scotty Hawks. By the way, Scotty, I saw your message. I forget where I saw it. Maybe on Instagram or whatever. Uh, I'd love to meet up, bro. I would love to meet up. We'll see. We'll see if I'll be able to this weekend. You chose a bad weekend because Elise is going out of town. And uh, I have the pups to myself, and I've got to get a few things done around the house this weekend as well. So maybe I can sneak out on Saturday or something. It'd be cool. Maybe we can meet up at the arcade or something, take some photos, and I can whoop you in some games, Scotty. But uh, Scotty's in my neck of the woods, man. Actually, there's a dope arcade at the place you're at, bro, now that I think about it, if that arcade's still there. So I could show up there and just whoop you in some stuff, you know what I mean? Renee says, I sent you article to read on Discord. Okay, right on, bro. Let me see. What? Wow. Okay. Done with massive multi-movie deals. Wow. Okay, really what we want are people to come in, are excited to be about the universe, are excited at the opportunity to do more things, as opposed to being locked into contractual obligations. Okay, I get that. That is interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to watch that, and perhaps I'll look more into it, see what other people are saying. By the way, the likes today are abysmal, and I get it because it's a, it's a, you know, we're all tired, and, you know, it's the end of the week, and we're like, bro, we've been nerd vengeance so hard. Like, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. I get it. But y'all need to just hit that like button, y'all. Like, look, I didn't make the rules. Okay, I think it's ridiculous as well. And you know how many YouTube videos I drop a likes on? None. And yet... If you don't do that right now on this video, I'm going to hold it against you. Do as I say, not as I do. And give them the love tonight. Uh, was lurking, but I had to come out of the hiding hole to call out Josh playing pronunciation police. Someone please clip that for posterity. Or po po posterior, posterity. Poster, poster, po poster, poster titties? Poster iterated titties. <clears throat> I don't know what you're saying, Felicity, but words are hard, and I appreciate the support. Thank you. Mike House says, Immortus played by Morgan Freeman. Bruh. Bruh. That would be sick. That would be absolutely sick. I'd be into that. Oh, by the way, everybody, I'm going to be playing some MTG today. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to stream any today unless I'm like feeling wily. Because again, I have a, uh, I have a lot to do. I gotta, we gotta take Elisa to the airport, and then I have to, sit, then I have to sit alone with the pups, really sad, for a couple hours. That's on the schedule. Uh, so, uh, but the on MTG Arena, if you're a Magic the Gathering player on Arena, they are releasing the new Dungeons and Dragons set today. Oh man, am I excited for this set? Let's go, Magic fans. Let's get it. If you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, and you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, these two worlds have now combined into a dope, beautiful, nerdy experience. Remember stream tomorrow? Yes. So tomorrow for the watch party for Black Widow, which will be 3 a.m. right when it releases, that's members only. So you got to be a Nerdventure member if you want to watch... Black Widow with us tomorrow, and then we're going to do a stream at noon for everybody that's Black Widow spoilers. So if you want to see my thoughts, reaction, breakdown, complaints about Black Widow, check out the stream tomorrow at noon. Check it out. I like the cardboard. I like the cardboard too, bro. I got so much cardboard neck around me right now. This is my, my Atraxa Commander deck with the gold... Dragon shield sleeves, mother trucker. So don't you talk to me about cardboard. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me about cardboard. Ah, oh, man. Okay, for the rest of the stream, we're just going to go over all my decks. I have on my dragon deck, and it's a Ur dragon deck, I have Targaryen, Targaryen sleeves. That's right. Dude, this dragon deck is mean. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, wait, I'll, cardboard? Y'all like cardboard? I bet you've never seen this card before. Jon Snow in Magic the Gathering. It's Kenrith the Returned King, if you know this card. But it has alternate art to look like Jon Snow. And uh, not to give any spoilers away, but he's sitting on the Iron Throne. And, uh, yeah, this card is sick. I, I sometimes will run this as the commander of my dragon deck because he's amazing. And come on, Jon Snow with a bunch of dragons. It makes sense. So, uh, Stormy says, Josh, we really care about this highly. Please continue on talking about the rest of your decks. Uh, thank you, Stormy, for the support. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. What's this one? Oh, this is my Boros equipment deck. Oh, man, it's so cool. It's so cool. Check out the sleeves. It's a Mona Lisa with uh, a little dragon on it, you know, because I like to have really good sleeves, if you hadn't noticed. That's kind of part of the thing is you got to have really cool sleeves for it, too. All right, enough of all that. <laughs> enough of all that. Dude, you're seeing Black Widow at 5 p.m. in Tinseltown? Dang, that does sound cool. I'm wait. I'm gonna wait, bro. I'm gonna wait and watch with the Nerd Avengers tomorrow morning. They have an arcade over here at Splash Lagoon. I'm out at 9 p.m. ish to drive. Driving back home. What? You're out today? You're done today? Bruh. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna be able to meet up then. I don't think we're gonna be able to meet up. Give me a little warning the next time you come to town. Jeez. Come on, man. Come on, man. What else is going on, everybody? What are you thinking? Made alive for a change. Well done, Eric. Well done. You and comics explain, pronounce it the same? Really? <laughs> Dang. Maybe we both mispronounce it, or maybe everyone else is stupid. Let me know what's the case. Let me know what the case. Still contemplating whether to see Black Widow in theaters or Disney Plus. Ah, <sighs> it's a tough one. It's a tough one. That thirty dollars price tag is rough, bro. But I'll tell you, the thirty dollars price tag is. I, and I said this yesterday. It makes me not want to go to the theaters because if I spend thirty dollars on it and I want to watch it again, why wouldn't I just watch it on the freaking OLED? I paid thirty dollars. Not to watch it once. I got to get the value out of this thing. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Reply for a change. I know. I'll try to reply. The OLED is not on the floor, man. I'm doing the theater and Disney Plus, says Melissa Love. That's awesome. Maybe I'll do that, too. I mean, I like the theater and all that. You know. Do I think the Thunderbolts are coming to the MCU soon? If so, what project? They're my favorite team. Well, I think maybe they might even be teased in Black Widow. Who knows? Black Widow better have some Winter Guard and Thunderbolts sprinkled in the movie. Otherwise, there was no reason to delay the movie this far. I don't think there's anything extra, brother, but yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I'm paying 30 If I watch it three times, I've already made my money back. Dude, you should be teaching a class on economics because I don't understand. But yes, I feel like it. I feel like it's true, but I can't explain why. Melissa Love says, my sister can't go to the movies, so I'm buying it for her to watch at home. Dang, that's very nice. That's really nice. Three kids, 30 is cheap. True. True. True it is. Dude, I watched Comics Explained Loki Episode 5 video, and it's good, man. Dude, Rob does such great work. He really does. He really does. Yep, $30 for restroom breaks. Well, you know, part of the reason that we're going to do the watch party behind the scenes is because I'm going to have a bunch of tobacco uh, hand-rolled cigarettes set up, and every five minutes, uh, every five minutes uh, in the movie, I'll light a new tobacco hand-rolled cigarette up, and uh, as the movie progresses, my reaction should get uh, more and more hilarious slow-mo says single people slash theaters family slash disney plus i spent over 50 with the wife uh plus drinks and food fair that's fair that is fair gene says chances of seeing reed richards in ant-man 3 i'd say hi bro i i think that's the play i really do i think quantum mania is going to bring in the fantastic four but if dr doom is technically in black panther 2 wouldn't that predate like there's some there's going to be some kind of weird explanation there. You know what I mean? So, uh, what if Lo what if it's Loki? What if Immortus has prevented the Fantastic Four from coming back into the timeline or something? Wouldn't that be bananas? I don't know. But, uh, Gene, I think that it's fair game, man. I think it would make sense. I swear, as a child, my mother would send me to the theater just for a break, sometimes to a day in the summer. Yeah. I've I've been there before for sure. I've been there before. Uh Nikki Nikki, I'm looking forward to it. Unlike cum people? What? Fan Jexture, this is a family show, bro. This is a family show. By the end of the movie, I'll think that Taskmaster has a few lines. With the way I'll be smoking. Fantastic Four could be filling shelves and stacking books at archive. Dude, you're right. You're absolutely true. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Robert. That is an interesting point. Loki's burden says, Hi nerds, just got home from work. How y'all doing? What an episode of Loki that was. Indeed. Adam, you sick freak, <laughs> says Stormy. I know, right? Adam, man, we all knew, man. But just Try to relax over there. Jeez. Oh, man. Hi, the Den of Nerds. Do you see my comment? I see it now. I see it now. Is it a rental? How often do you have to watch it? I think you get it. it I think you get it permanently. I think. But then it's going to be free for everybody in October. So I think, that's, uh, I think that's what we're looking at there. After the stream is wake and bake time. Amen. You get it permanently? Dope. It's permanent? Dope. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. As long as you keep your Disney Plus. Right, 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 right. So, I mean, that'll be fun. So, like, we'll do the watch party together. Again, I wanted to just do it for the Nerd Avengers because I think it's a lit, like, that's a long watch party to do publicly. And, like, guys, I need to, like, freaking have time to, like I said, smoke 
friggin' uh, tobacco, cigarettes, to, to snack. I need to be able to be really gross. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, so... To a long watch party like that, we can't do that publicly. We got to do that privately in den- in the Nerdvengers Tower. So come on by the Nerdvengers Tower. You know, come as you are, and let's get sweaty. Let's get sweaty. Let's get nerdy. Let's watch Black Widow together. Again, you can do the watch party. Uh, we'll try to really make it so even if you don't watch it with us, you could queue it up, hang out, and then start the movie when we start it and still sort of experience the watch party together, which I think will be really fun. And then after that episode, we'll talk a little bit about it, and then I'm going to crash, and then I'll wake up and do a stream at noon. So that's that's what we'll do. Oh, Carl, dude, that's tough, bro. I would probably not just because, like, you need that sleep for the for the flight, bro. You know what I mean? You are smoking cloves. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah, cloves. Yeah, unfortunately, that means that will co- we will not be doing a Bad Batch watch party. Because Bad Batch is going to come the same time. Oh, sorry, Jack. Let me see. Jack says, what if Doom shows up as an infamous Iron Man before he becomes Doom? The world needs a new hero before becoming the big bad in uh ff dude that would that would be very interesting a damn different take than what happens in the comics but i'm here for it that could be really really fun i think a variant of doom maybe with that power or something to that effect could be really cool Uh, you know it's funny how many people thought that uh the castle at the end of loki 5 had to be doom just because it looks a lot like a doom castle and people are just hyped on doom bro like that's another one man when we get doom coming back into the mcu like bro Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah, Bad Batch is too slow. Look, I like Bad Batch, and we'll we'll just catch up with Bad Batch next week. You know, we'll just catch up with Bad Batch next week, and it'll be all right. But, uh, yeah, bad timing for Bad Batch this week. Another watch part of the East Coast is missing. Smack my head. I mean, I live on the East Coast, Nikki. Trust me, I know you can't get up for it. I'm sorry. Look, I don't... I, w- maybe we'll figure something out. I don't know. Smoking that al- ally off, indeed. Bad Batch is better binged anyway. It's true. It's true. All right, guys. Probably going to get out of here. I've got sort of a busier afternoon, like I said. Uh, I expect we'll get a Nerdy News Rundown tonight. I'm sorry that we haven't been. We missed two Nerdy News Rundowns this week, but I feel like it's chill. I feel like everybody's all right because we have plenty of content. Like, we have so much content coming out. Like, we did three streams yesterday. Bananas. Uh, But even though we didn't do an NNR yesterday, we had that other video up. I felt like it was a fun Kang, you know, good Kang Loki video that I think people are going to dig. So, uh, no NNR steady. I know. I w- trust me, we want to figure it out, and I think we will get the workflow figured out. But this week was a little bit awkward because it was so crazy, and Elisa was going out of town, so we had to get some stuff ready for that. You know what I mean? So, someone has to yell at him. He yells at us. That's true. West Coast Nerd Avengers for the win, says Mr. Anderson. Moss, Moss, you'll be fine. Talk to the boss. I know. I wish we could all do the watch party together for sure. Perhaps we'll change it in the future, but for now, we're just going to keep it uh, where it's at. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah, Bad Batch is fun. It's a fun watch. Zero expectations for sure. For sure. See you tonight. See you tonight.